Blessings dear ones and welcome back and in today's video I wish to talk about something I think many of you will recognize in your own life and what I notice when I work in sessions one-on-one -on -one sessions with people is that even though we think we've done so much or we have done so much of our inner work We've been through the inner child healing, the shadow work, and you hours of meditation. The one thing that I see people struggle with is that the repeating, uh, it's almost like an addic addictive seeking out for the same energies in a relationship, in the relationship dynamics. So it may be with a lover, it may be with friends, it may be at, at your work, that the same type of energies keep repeating itself and the same outcome. Uh, and you think you're over and done with this kind of connections and dynamics, and then you just find yourself uh, in this just the same. Just It just comes in another form, another package. And it may feel very frustrating and almost like a curse and so this is what happens when our conscious our conscious mind have moved on but the subconscious strategies is still the ones that is playing out so you see the ones that when we grow up the environment and the behaviors and the dynamics in our family and the, or wherever we are uh, forms us and even though we might feel pretty traumatized about these experiences and how our family members were acting out towards us towards each other uh, it is still what we what is known to us and what is known to us makes us in a strange way feel safe because this is this is what we know how to respond to and even though it's a very dysfunctional dynamic we tend to our subconscious mind because this trauma is unhealed we tend to seek out for the same dynamics just with in new relationships and with new persons and this is something I see a, a lot and it happens when we come to this that we're not able to understand why is this keep, why do I keep uh, attracting these same energies, why does this keep happening to me. So what we need to know first is that our inner child who is the one who has drawn the map, the map from which we navigate from and this is it happens I know some people say had some people uh, teachers say that this map is drawn before we turn one and there is some calculations being is being done up uh, in the following six years and this believes and this structures are very strong they are very they really imprints and signs that we keep navigating from and so even though you think that i'm done with this i don't want this anymore there is this small child in you who only knows this and how strange it may seem we wish to repeat it, wish to be in that environment again, in that energy, because this is what it knows. So we may feel safe in the unsafe. And this is what today's transmission is going to be about. We will do a clearing where we move from feeling safe in false safety to 
redirect that energy to what we think is nurturing us, to what is really nurturing us, to move away from unsafety, unpredictable behaviors, to the one that is really supporting us. And this is the case for many empaths who also find themselves to be um, codependent. That we tend to be in these environments with people who is has this unpredictable behavior, and and in in a, in a strange way, this makes us feel safe. So this is what we are going to do today. And I have with us in this transmission the Divine Mothers, the Divine Fathers, but also the energies from Venus. It's very strong at this time, reconnecting us to the pink ray, to the supporting and deep love that is really truly nurturing us, that is holding us, that is connecting us so that we may experience connection through our relationships instead of separation because that is what the traumatized inner child is doing, seeking out circumstances to just strengthen the experience of disconnection. So we are moving from disconnection, to, from separation to connection and unity. Looking out for, searching for, or attracting people and circumstances where we are held, where we are feeling safe, and know that if we have this codependency, as mechanisms and if we have this unhealed ch child in a child which all of us has to one degree or another uh, we may not feel safe in a safe environment this is very important because this is not known to us so we have to give ourselves time to adapt to the new as we heal and this new becomes what resonates with us and this so give yourself time have compassion with yourself and really love yourself through this journey and this is how we reparenting ourselves uh, selves that we know where we are going and we take this inner child with us who is who feel this to be very unfamiliar but we know where we're going and we know because there is so many I meet in sessions that say I know that this is not a good relationship for me this is not what I want but in the same time we just it is as an addiction we can't cut this uh, cord, cords and we can't move away so this inner child needs to, we need to go with this inner child step by step. We connected to our higher self knows where, knows where we are going and taking that inner child in our arms and walk it safely, doing the healing that comes up and walking safely to a safer ground. So dear ones, just relax and open up. As I bring in the energies of the pink ray of Lady Venus, so find yourself surrounded by this pink, warm light holding you, make you feel safe. And this is the energy of the womb space, protected and held. Minar sakyo, unor sanai, 
Ishana, 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 Sur Sunos Anai, Iur Kunos Anai, Sun Ulaya Tarkana Sidra, Sinyar Sakurusu Sanai, Ikar Sana Shodrana, Iar Sana. And breathe and relax. So this was a clearing of the nervous system. A softening of the nervous system. So when the nervous system is tense, we're not able to take in new and high frequencies. Parfana Kitra so there needs to be an expansion. Nakar kanasai relaxation, naraki aranshusa. And now, dear ones, we are going to very gently pull up all the roots that you, during this lifetime, when you grew up, when you was formed, and your when you were programmed all these roots that you have planted in unsafe ground make you think that what is not good for you gives you safety. Nikar sanashana, so very gently your roots are being pulled up. Panashana, one by one. Tirkanai Sadrana Shotanai, the roots that have been connected to trauma, and these traumas that has been holding them in the energies of the trauma, making you search for the same energy over and over again. Just relax as this is happening to you. Makaya Tarsana Kuyana Isashanarsana. Nunuru so Lady Venus is assisting us. Awaki Arsana. As I ask of you to just in, take the intention of allowing the energies of the trauma to leave you. Manaya Tarsana. Sunur Sana Narakaya. Iarananur Tusanar. Iana Utana. One by one. Isana Kirana Nai and breathe as this is happening. It may make you feel a bit angry on the Panata. Vu Ukur Awaki. Know that you don't need this false safety anymore, this false sense of safety and support. Kinarana Shu is never going to bring you what you wish for, what you need. You inner child think it will. I think that this will finally fill your empty cup with that love, with that sense of belonging, of being respected and appreciated, accepted. It won't. We will find a new home for your roots. Nanar Shanaku Awasanaya Ida Narush Ihalarana Sanayatru Kai Kiarana Sho Awatan Yaratus. One by one they are being removed. Tanar Sanatanako from this unfertile soil. Man Arashitana. Kursunu Karsanar Tatai. Mama Gaia is helping us, releasing them from her lower timelines, the lower timelines on earth that is feeding lower vibrational energies into your roots, into your system. She's helping you to detach, to detach your roots. Parpakinar Hur Aitanai Shur Sanakutra. Oaranasan. And she now, when they now are all uplifted, she makes space 
for us to plant these roots in her, into her core, into her heart, into her pink, radiant love. And we gently, very gently place them in fertile soil where you will drink from the energies of love, of support, of safety, of joy, of freedom and peace. And you will grow from these energies. You will grow. Nanaratakius ufarmana eana noroso kularanani aniatos sinarasai aina naiki sinarusho Omana, one by one, we place them deeper and deeper into her core. Ma nitan, ayatar san, iali ali, iali, loyana, iali, sinu, ashanai, no, no laya, ayana. Kusanai tiaka and allow your roots to go deeper, to expand. Allow them to fill up that space. Nikusuno shana iarashano tuva taranakia isunulai iaranasho kuana and she is surrounding them every root with this with her fertile soil making you feel ground and st st stable and safe connected held truly supported and truly loved relax dear ones relax because you are home And now, dear ones, drink from this energy with every inhalation and with every exhalation, allow your blood to transport these energies into every cell of your physical vessel, to your nervous system, through your inner central column reprogramming your nervous system and reprogramming your brain as you let go of the old ways embracing the new parnatiya sana kurushu nayadrana detaching from the full sense of safety Allow the cords to go. You don't need to be cut or pulled out. Just drop them because you don't need them, need them anymore. This is done by your free will, your intention. Tamar kamasush, iaramanar kidra, lorunaya ti kurana, isuno, 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 shinar saishan, nodra shiarana. As I ask for this a spiral of white light coming down on you from above, washing you completely, all the bodies, all minds, clear from these old energies, this old wish, this old behavior, old behaviors, Tarshanaya, this old <clears throat> attraction to the dysfunctional, Panaya Kutana. In Nisishana Uvarana Sani Unarsana Kidushunur Nia Yasanai sweeping away all that is not serving you, all that keeps attracting what is not serving you into your life. Wukanaya no shana pushing it away, pushing it away, pushing it away. Huma sasido shanaya yana roshoku shunana rotodus. Protecting your roots, protecting your energy field. Panakai. 
aligning your auric field, balancing it with perfectly egg formed, shaped, nur sanaki dorsuno energy bodies. Bring balance into your experience, pana nur sana, alignment kuranasha with source and source only with the love of Mother Earth, Mana Shidrana, and allow the pink ray of Venus to now penetrate your heart. Mana Kidra Shunno Rosai Ananatar Ana, what a seeds of flower starts to bloom in your heart. Makinur Anaya Naya, Surkana drinking from your roots, expanding out that love, the vibration of true love, of that pink ray. So that is what you will attract back to you. Pan aya shodra shiki no lulu san aya ina hurat soshana kuarana 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 The pink ray into your forehead bringing love into your thoughts perceiving yourself to be lovable panatoshana kiara Sonorosho, Iarana Ting. Pink ray to your sacral chakra, your second chakra. Restoring the connection to all relationships in your life. The relationship with you, with all your brothers and sisters. The relationship with life. Misur Natiana Kuvar Ayatam Kiar Sanal Aranaiti. So bringing in love in all this connection, receiving love, emanating love. Matanaya Kutana Shi Shiar Sushun Ayata Ialaya Nor Ukuarana Shai Sitrana Tu Shunu. Final sweep. Embrace your inner child. It's not no. It is not uh, familiar with these energies. The wounded one inside of you, hold it close to your heart. Tell it it is safe. As the pink ray surrounds your wounded inner child holding it in safety as we go through this experience of reprogramming that will continue in the following days and you may revisit this transmission as often you need and just give yourself and your inner child time to integrate these energies time to feel safe in the unknown in the new Sending you love, sending you blessings. Thank you.